Man, what an all-star week in MLB The Show and in the MLB. Last night was the all-star game, and it was, you know, it's the all-star game. It's just a cool experience. But regardless, we have gotten a ton of content this week. We got draft cards Sunday night for the draft. We got home run derby cards Monday night from the home run derby. And then last night we got all-star cards. And today we got a new all-star game program. And there was a BR program yesterday. So let's go through it all. Looking at the calendar, today is 7-12. So all-star week program. Play new program with moments, conquest, and missions. Earn 2023 All-Stars, Home Run Derby, and, and new Draft Series players. And just because I didn't cover these cards and content, I will go over them today. So on 7-10, we had Home Run Derby cards on 7-11, which was yesterday. Tuesday, we had a new VR program with a couple of new Flawless Rewards. And we also got some All-Star Game cards from, yes, or from last night. Elias Diaz, totally did not expect that, but he won All-Star Game MVP, got a 99, and there were a bunch of other cards like to do every year, but let's go over it. Let's start with the brand new program. We have the All-Star Week program, and it's a, it's interesting. So they made an addition. There's still 97s over for like the highest overalls, but they do add a 99 rare player non-sellable at the end here. So you can get... Paul Skeens, Dylan Cruz, Max Clark, Wyatt Langford, Vladdy, Randy, Elias Diaz, or Yandi Diaz for free. It is non-sellable, so keep that in mind. Um, and I'm really frustrated because I accidentally locked in Paul Skeens when I pulled him. Um, I submitted a ticket. Hopefully, SDS lets me unlock him so I can just sell it and then pick him here. But... Regardless, I really like that they're allowing us to get a 99 in the program. So it actually is grind 99. If you complete the program, you get a 99 overall player. Um, and it being non-sellable, it, it makes sense. It just, you know, it, it would just defeat the purpose of the pack because all these cards would be super low in price. At 95 points, you do get a sellable pack, but it's not the rare guaranteed and you can choose one of them. And then we had a bunch of players too, so let's roll through them. Corbin Burns, 97 overall. Cutter, curveball, circle change, sinker, slider. I will say, out of all 97s, a Corbin Burns is probably the best one. Control is really good. Break is okay. Pitch mix is great, of course. Has good hits per nine, pitch and clutch, and velo. David Bednar, four seam 12, six splitter. His cards are never really good, but cool to see him get an all-star card. Let's check out that control and break. Okay, that's pretty good. Jorge Soler, always left to see an Jorge Soler card. Maxed out versus left, 84, 104 versus right, 97 clutch. Has silver defense, that's pretty good for an Jorge Soler card. Ozzy Albies, switch hitter, 80 contact versus righties is a little low, but 125, 102, 95 for everything else, and 92 clutch. So again, like these cards are okay. Um, I'm happy that they added the 99 at the end. Another 97 framer, Valdez. Pretty much identical to the player of the month, I would say. The per nines are not good enough. The pitching clutch helps him out, though. Does he have outlier? No, but he is break outlier. Control is great. Break is great. We have Austin Hayes from Baltimore. High contact, low power, high clutch. Really good defense and speed. George Kirby from Seattle. Oh, my God. Those per nines are atrocious. 88-76. That makes this card not usable. 99 velo, no outlier, and a good pitch mix, control and break. But man, those per nines are horrible. Bryce Elder from Atlanta, he finally got a good card. Sinker slider, four seam circle change. 102 hits per nine, 125 pitching clutch. This is actually a pretty good card. Kodai Senga from the Mets, four seam cutter, fork ball slurve, 12 6. That's a great pitch mix. He has great per nines, great clutch, control is a little low and the break is good but that's a pretty good card and then we also have a couple more draft cards aiden miller from the philadelphia phillies high power 90s contact in clutch also has gold defense and pretty good speed at third base yeah third and first from the mets colin hauck shortstop 101 99 contact 91 95 power 98 clutch pretty good defensively and solid speed and then we have johandi morales third base first second and short 90, 94, 98, 102 for the hitting, 97 clutch, and gold defense again. And that's pretty much it for this program. You can do moments, 
So you can play with, okay, so you can play with these draft cards and some other stuff. One, two, three, four, oh, seven for one moment. Okay, three in a game, that's probably why. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so eight times two is 16 plus 14 is 30. So if you do all the moments, you get 30 points. That'll get you to here. Missions, again, just the typical stats and PXP with the guys, all-star event wins. So the event wins can count to both the player of the month and this program if you haven't done it yet. And there is a conquest map. Now, yesterday we also got a new BR program. Let's quickly go through it. And I gotta say, I'm particularly disappointed in the no sell aspect for this one because look all these cards are good like but this might be a personal thing but none of them are gonna be on my team so it's like i, I mean rube foster like, like the don't get me wrong these are all great cards and you get them for free but i just wish i could just sell the damn card i mean rube foster outlier screwball that is insane but screwball four seam slurve sinker forkball great pitch mix Control is very good, break is very good, and has some pretty good hitting stats. But my rotation is already set for Season 3, pretty much. Hank Thompson, 114, 104, 191 for the hitting with 117 clutch. Great defense and speed. Can play pretty much everywhere. And then we have Bo Bichette, max out contact and clutch, good power. And he actually has good defense for a Bo Bichette card. Again, these are all very good cards, but none of them are going to be on my team. So I just want to sell the card. And I mean, it's not like these cards were going for 30k when the pro when the program card was sellable. I still disagree with that in BR. I kind of understand for ranked, but whatever. Let me stop complaining. Let's go through the henchman. Rookie Michael Harris, only really good against righties. His high clutch defense and speed. Rugnetto Door flashback tops now. Good power and clutch. We have Nathan Evaldi forcing cutter splitter slider curveball. So a good mix. Not good control and break. Has good hits per nine in clutch. And then a Marcus Semyon from Oakland. High contact, low power, 101 clutch. Let's go to the gold. We have Mike Lowell from when he was on the Red Sox. High contact, pretty bad power. I mean, again, every time the new one comes out, I mentioned that these cards are only going to be good in BR. Matt Olson, high high power card. We have uh, Miguel Andujar as a Yankees fan. I miss this guy. Uh, you know, he sucked after 2018. But that 2018 year was special. Um, and then Chris Paddock from San Diego, four-seam circle change, 12-six cutter slider. So, I mean, these cards, again, aren't really that good, but they're for BR. Carlos Carrasco, four-seam change up slider, sinker curveball. I mean, it doesn't really do anything good. I mean, the break on the change up's good. Yohan Moncada, switch hitter. So, I was about to say good, but solid. Power versus righties, good discipline and clutch, and has pretty good speed. Jake Diekman. Love to see Jake Diekman cards. Great lefty reliever. Does he have outlier? No, he doesn't. But he have 99 velo and break. Forcing slider sinker. And then we have Matt Carpenter, who has, okay, pretty balanced hitter across the board. Horrible defensively, though. Moving to the show shop. Let's quickly run through all the draft cards first, because those are the oldest ones. Paul Skeens, and I did buy this pack because it's basically guaranteeing your stubs back. And I pulled Paul Skeens, like I said earlier. Please, SDS, respond to my ticket. I want to sell him so I can get the non-sell one, but whatever. Paul Skeens, 99 overall. He's really, really good. Number one overall pick. Four-seam slider, circle change, cutter slur. That's nasty. Control break, good. Outlier on the four-seam, great per nines. Dylan Cruz, really good hitter across the board. Number two overall pick. 118, 125, 102, 106 power. Max out clutch, number one and number two from LSU. Max Clark, Detroit. Really good hitter across the board. Really good clutch defense and speed. Doesn't really do one thing poorly. Same with this Wyatt Langford. The defense could be a little better, but still a very good card. Walker Jenkins. Okay, good power, good contact, good clutch. I mean, these these guys are all pretty much the same. Jacob Wilson, high contact, lower power. We have Rhett Loader, starting pitcher. Forcing change up, sinker slider. Okay, pretty good control. Blake Mitchell, or, you know what, I'm just going to look because I said control and I just looked at the walks per nine. Blake Mitchell, catcher. This is a very good budget catcher, pretty much quick sell value. Chase Dollander from Colorado. Does he have outlier? No, he doesn't, but he has a pretty solid pitch mix. Noble Meyer, four seam slider, circle change. Okay, pretty good per nine and clutch. Tommy Troy, really good against lefties, okay against righties. Pretty good defensively. Kyle Teal. 
Red Sox, high contact, low power, good defense. Is that a catcher? Yeah, it is a catcher. That's another solid catcher. Jacob Gonzalez, high contact, 90s power, good clutch. I mean, these cards are pretty much all the same. Enrique Bradfield Jr. has high contact and low power. Oh my god, look at that speed though. And 99 fielding. So yeah, that's it for all the draft cards. Now let's go over the Homer Derby cards. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. won the Homer Derby. Of course, he's going to have maxed out power. 112, 119 uh, contact with 125 clutch. I will say we... We typically get really bad contact on these Homer Derby cards, so good to see him have high contact. Same with Randy and Rosarena, 117, 112, 124, 124, 120 with the clutch. Same thing with defense. The defense isn't horrible. Julio Rodriguez, 120 for contact, 100, 100 for, for contact, good speed as well. Luis Robert Jr., 101, 125, 120, 120. I mean, that's insane hitting, hitting stats. And his def again, hitting his defense isn't that bad. Adley Rutschman, switch hitting catcher, 115 power versus both sides. Now we start to see some bad contact. Adalis Garcia, 97 overall, pretty much the same card as Adley Rutschman, but an outfielder. Pete Alonso from the Mets, 115 contact, again, or power, excuse me, but pretty much the same card. And then the last one is Mookie Betts. Again, literally all the same cards with 115 power. Now we can finally go to the All-Star Game Pack. The MVP, Elias Diaz from Colorado, 125, 108, 115, 104 power. Really good vision, discipline, clutch. Really good catching card. If you can't get Adley Rutschman, he's not that expensive too. And he has pretty good defense. You know, the fielding is silver. The blocking is gold. His reaction is also silver. Has a really good arm. Yandy Diaz, 125, 118 contact, 103, 100 power, 101 vision, 100 discipline, 117 clutch. Uh, fielding. Is silver across the board. JD Martinez, DH, really good against righties. Okay against lefties. Carlos Estevez, 123, 121, 125 for the for the big three, and he has a okay pitch mix for a reliever. Yanir Cano, so happy he's back. I loved his player of the month. Sinker, circle, change, slider, four seam, great control and break, and outlier, and 125 clutch. Alex Cobb, not that good. I mean the per nines are not that good, and yeah, that's it. So I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek as I wrap up this video. I have so many packs from Team Affinity and grinding other things. And I, like, I have so many packs to open, to ignore those ranked seasons. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be opening these on Friday. It only looks like we're going to be getting a new Diamond Duos on Friday. So I'm going to be ripping all these packs on Friday. So make sure you guys... Uh, God, I, make sure you guys watch the video. I'm pretty tired, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be for this video. If you guys are new here, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, but most importantly, make sure to subscribe right here on YouTube. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.